in unearthed video footage, Kim Kardashian made the eyebrow-raising claim that her first marriage had taken place under the influence of ecstasy. Though most knew about her ill-fated second marriage to Chris Humphreys, when she called it quits after a mere 72 days as husband and wife, and her third marriage to high-profile rapper Kanye West, her teenage nuptials were once shrouded in secrecy. Kim first shot to fame in 2007 following a sex tape with her ex-boyfriend Ray J, a singer who is the first cousin of rapper Snoop Dogg, and the launch of her family's reality show TV series Keeping Up With The Kardashians. She had burst into tears on the show after the video showing intimate scenes between her and her boyfriend was leaked to the world. However, that wasn't the first time her colorful love life caused her trouble. Dating back to her teenage years, Kim had a four-year marriage with music producer Damon Thomas. I got married on ecstasy, she confessed during an unearthed TV episode, admitting it had been the first time she had taken the drug. She told her wide-eyed sister Kendall, I did ecstasy once and I got married. I did it again, I made it a sex date. Warning her younger sibling off, she told her that something bad would always happen. Everyone knows, I was on ecstasy, she added, exclaiming, my jaw was shaking the whole time. Damon, who has blasted Kim in the past as a fame WHE with no talent, spoke to Vlog TV on the matter but said nothing more on the ecstasy claim than, I don't remember that at all. He added, I think it's unfair to make those kind of blanket statements because we have kids now, you know. I have children. My kid goes to the same school her kid goes to. So imagine him when he has to deal with that at school. However he was previously ready to make less than complimentary comments about Kim during an interview with In Touch. Dot Kim is obsessed with fame. She can't write or sing or dance, so she does harmful things in order to validate herself in the media, he claimed. That's a fame WE to me. It's just not cool at all. Meanwhile, Kim blamed being too dependent on men in her life as part of the reason for her radical decision, aged 19, to elope and get married. We went to Vegas, he said, let's get married. And I said, okay, she told Harper's Bazaar of the spontaneous wedding, to which her friends and family were not invited. I used to be so dependent on the guys I was in a relationship with. Although, I wasn't raised that way, she continued. If I looked at myself at 19, now, I would shake myself and be like, wake up, you are way too smart for this. During her ill-fated marriage, her father was diagnosed with esophageal cancer and died just two months later, aged 59. Kim ultimately filed divorce papers against Damon, who is 10 years her senior, which included claims that he had been physically violent and controlling towards her. She also claimed she had to seek his permission before she was allowed to leave the house or have dinner with friends, as he liked to be king of the castle. A few years after her marriage to Damon ended, Kim became the internationally famous reality star we know today.